Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an Android app demo for type smart keyboard free by Common Apps. This application is in the productivity category on the Google Play market and is free. There is a full version for this app that sells for $2.88 and we are demoing this on a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This advanced replacement keyboard for the Android provides a ton of amazing features to simplify and empower your written communication and it does that. One thing you want to know, upgrade to TypeSmart. You're actually getting the full application for a 30 day trial once you download the free version. So you're getting all the bells and whistles right away. However, after 30 days, you're going to lose all the bells and whistles and you won't have any of the functionality of this application unless you upgrade here or buy the paid version. Help and support is there. It'll take you out of the application. Under locale, you can see the language, keyboard layout, currency, and lo locale profiles or local profiles. Now, one thing under the local profiles, you can actually add your own and put it in there, enable it from another setting that I'll show you in just a moment. Languages supported currently, English, Spanish, and German. And then the keyboard layout, again, you can choose a variety of keyboard layouts here. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll down to typing, auto caps, smart spaces, double space. You can see there's a variety of features that you can enable with a simple tap of your finger and that puts a check mark in there that's green and you can use that functionality. Now shortcuts are great for people that want quick um, typing shortcuts or cheat, whatever. Tap here and you can enable your own shortcut. Exit out of there. And then we'll go back down here to suggestions, auto select default, typo correction, predict next word, add new words. You know, we've all fight that add new words in word processors or data processor apps. Here you can ask first, always add, or never add your preference again. Now I gotta scroll down because I keep popping up to the top, so don't be confused. It doesn't have that many features. Now choose closest match in uh, the voice match in return automatically select the closest one. So when you're using the Google voice to, to text, this is a selection that you can enable to match your voice input. Now appearance in here we have our themes. In the TypeSmart themes they give you a a plethora of themes in here and you can just select any of these and they'll change your keyboard into whatever theme you've added here. You can also put your own theme in by using photo wallpapers. You can adjust the key height and suggestion size and so on. These are the last of the, um, the, the settings down here. Sound on key press, vibrate on key press and so on. Swipe actions, assign an action to a swipe gesture. So again that could be very helpful. Now I'm going to go in here into the note application where I've been typing and I'll show you the keyboard as it appears. I'm using the basic uh, keyboard for the application. A couple of things. I'm going to hold down on the pink key here and it's going to pop out a large number of settings. And you can see that there's a Google Translator in here, up to 50 or more languages supported so you can translate within the application. Head out of there, hold this down again. We have voice input. That's how I put this in. The dog ran down the street. And then you have an arrow key here. You have local here, locale. And you have, and if you do that, that's how you're going to actually uh, define your or put in place your local profiles. So hold back down here, and we have our settings, and that'll take us back there. Again, let's go back in here by tapping there back to the note application, and we can see a couple of other things in here. We have share, and when you tap share, you really can share, and you can see who you can share with all those different places from within this app. Now head over here hold on the symbol key and you're going to get a bunch of symbols and punctuation. You're going to get, starting at the top, we're going to get Latin Extended and you can go through here Standard, Extended, Currency Smileys, Dingbats, Business, Arrows, Math. So you're going to get all those included in the keyboard and you're going to find other functionality. This application is packed with it. So we can start typing up here and say uh, go and you can actually start seeing the words populate up here which is you know the predicting the text that you're typing and it gets smarter as it goes that's it for this android app demo until next time this has been crazy mike from crazy mike's apps saying see ya